There we go. We're on a nice one. What is up, my friends? We are out here fishing the mud pit. Or so I've nicknamed this place. Now, last time I was here, it was packed full of mosquitoes, snakes, and some really, really nice largemouth bass. That's exactly what we're targeting today. Uh, I brought a few different baits. Let's see what works. Let's catch some fish. So we are gonna be starting out with that six cent stroker crawl. This one's kind of a new one to me. Looked really good. Digging the color. Um, they did seem to be into this kind of black and blue last time I was here. So I also did notice a lot of craw in the water. Might be the ticket. All right, so we are struggling out here to get hit on that croc. Granted, it only has been about 15 minutes. I'm gonna completely change gears now. So I'm gonna be throwing that 4.5 inch stick bait, the old rattle worm. Got a nice little rattle in there and uh, in watermelon. So a lot lighter of a color with a 1 8 ounce sinker. I got that rigged on a 2 watt EWG hook, throwing it on a medium light oh, rod over here. Fast action, seven footer. We might end up throwing this on spinning gear. Oh, there we go. We're on a nice one. I mean, at least it feels pretty nice for uh, for this rod. Stay down. That's what I'm talking about, man. Maybe they wanted the... Uh, finesse presentation or the lighter presentation come on in i do have to adjust the drag on this reel i'm not going to mess with it right now but it is way too high now these fish can certainly fight i gotta say this uh body of water has some of the harder fighting fish i've caught that is a beautiful fish all right come on in Check her out. Hey man, sometimes you just need to change up that presentation. Straight up buggy mouth. A mouth on worm. All right guys, look at the size of this one. Absolutely beautiful. That is a good looking fish. Mouthful of worm right there. And they wouldn't hit the craw. Uh, last time, all I could get hit on was that black and blue. It seems like they want that lighter color, more finessey presentation today. Uh, that rattle, I'm sure, helps a bit too. Something different. Get you back in. And off she goes. Oh, good fish. Come on, yeah. There we go. There we go. Rattle worm muncher. Listen to that rattle going. Cool. Oh, you're warm. There we go, guys. Pretty little largemouth on our more finesse bait of the day. Good looking fish. On that lighter green. Good lucker. Sometimes finesse is the way. Oh, what was that? Did change up to a medium rod. 1 8 ounce sinker, uh, continuing with that 2 out EWG. Of 
we do hook into a big one, I don't want to be outgunned with that medium light. Not that we couldn't land it. I just don't want to uh, risk it. Yeah, a little bit. How about yourself? A couple small, large mouth. They seem to want the stick bait today. There we go. That's a pretty cool contraption. It only cost $29 at Bass Pro Shop, too. Really? It used to cost $79 and $99. And then this is a Bass Pro model. Of the other ones were TH Marine. Yeah. They were expensive. That yeah, seems to be the given tree. I saw a lot of stuff up in there. What is up everybody? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a great time making it as always. We got that boy Mars in the house. What's up Mars? How you doing buddy? So another awesome day at the mud pit. I'm starting to really really like that spot. I think it holds up uh, potential to uh, have some very, very good, bigger bass in it. And, uh, you know, af after the two attempts I have made at fishing it, both of them yielded a decent sized fish. I think um, if I put a little more time and I'm gonna be able to uh, pull out some nice ones. Anyhow, I started out fishing that six cents stroker craw. Now I am quite fond of this. I really, really like it. It is a good looking craw. It comes with its little uh, claws, I guess, attached, but you can just, pop them off, that's how I prefer to fish it. Uh, they're gonna get like that after fishing it for a while anyway, so I might as well start out, gives you a little extra action. And it is a very detailed bait, if you look. It's kinda like ribbed at the top and it goes down to those little walker legs, that sort of thing, and uh, just a clean mold, a really, really good looking bait. That black and blue is an awesome color too. For whatever reason, they didn't want it though, so. Uh, within 15 minutes of fishing it and not getting hit, I decided to change it up. I was literally uh, seeing bass jump out of the water, otherwise I probably would have gave it more time out there. Um, we switched over to the stick bait, that rattle worm. 
which is a 4.5 inch stick bait with a little rattle inside right nice sleek design good bubble to it i do have a video fishing it on the channel if you guys want to catch it out but it is a uh, lighter color um different look and it just got tore up man it got tore up immediately that first cast out there i big and smacked it uh I reeled that in continued to uh do quite well with it so um it was the right move for me. By the time you guys watch this, I will be fishing up in Wisconsin with my brother doing our annual trip, uh, shooting a few videos. We're probably gonna do, probably gonna make like a mini series or something. However, we'll hopefully be catching some pretty neat fish that got some stuff that I don't really have here. So that got musky, pike, walleye, largemouth, and smallmouth are all common in that area and really looking forward to hopefully catching uh, some good fish out there as well as doing a little catch and cook action camping out and having a blast so uh without further ado i did get something in the mail for our camping trip today which i'll open for y'all right now back in soon and it is a five inch German stainless steel fillet knife for the catch and cook. We'll hopefully be doing out there if we catch some fish we want to eat. I was kind of thinking about doing a little pan fish catch and cook because I haven't done that yet on the channel. The only one I have done was the white bass one, which uh, turned out pretty good. So we'll see, maybe if we'll catch a walleye and it's uh, good to keep, we'll, we'll cook one up too. We'll do some over the fire type stuff. Now, I am pretty excited about this actually never had a nice fillet knife the one i have right now is not that great and i did opt for the five inch there are different sizes you could select but i wanted the smallest one available i wanted a smaller kind of compact one um more so i wanted a smaller blade on it so i could i was thinking about panfish because i had just shot my panfish video um, when i ordered so There we go. Nice little sheath. Stick it on your belt if you want. I'll probably keep it in my backpack or uh, in my tent for that matter. Oh. Got the old insignia right there. It is very, very sharp. Good size to it. I like the length and it's got one heck of a handle. I mean, this thing looks futuristic. Go. have a nice little thumb thing there and there good good feel get a good grip on it to uh, work that blade on those fish man awesome super excited to get into some catch and cook action anyhow guys I got a ton of stuff to do it's like 9 p.m. Uh, probably just gonna end up going to bed earlier and uh, waking up earlier to accomplish that but Gotta put together all this tackle, and uh, there's like so much different stuff I wanna bring, man. It's overwhelming, however. My bro lives 15 minutes away from a Bass Pro, so that's pretty awesome, too. Anyhow, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. I hope you get some good fish on, my friends, and I will catch you next time.